Hola chicos, as I promised in the last video, this time we're gonna talk about vegetarian food in Puerto Escondido. It's good, it's cheap and it's diverse. So let's check it out, alright? And if you like this video, we'll appreciate if you press the like button, if you share or even subscribe to our channel. We are at our favorite place in, uh, in Puerto Escondido. It's called Finca Las Nieves. They have the most delicious brunch slash breakfast slash lunch. Yeah, and they have delicious coffee, specialty coffee, also just next door. And harvested in the, in the mountains like Perigonia. And you have this view. So. Lots of vegetarian options. I think most of the things. Yeah, I think vegetarian. actually everything is vegetarian. Maybe they have delicious mole. It's, it's local. It's good. Today we are heading for lunch to one of our favorite places here in Puerto Escondido. It's called Sativa, and it's just across the street from the Serena. Why do we love this place so much? They do have amazing vegetarian food, and this. If you crave a nice breakfast or decent bread, Amarisa is the place to go. They pretend the bread is French, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far, yet it's still a nice place to enjoy breakfast, brunch, or just a cake, and you can even get some work done here because they are neighbors of Selina Hostel and they use the same Wi Fi. So we're right now in Limoli, which is a place where uh, they have just one dish every, every, every night, different. So they try to, to make it every night different, at least. So you just come, they tell you what's on the menu, you say yes or no, that's pretty much it. And they have this, some local carb beer, which is pretty good, beach day, if I, yeah, it's fine. And we've been here before, the food is amazing, and it's all vegan. So, it's pretty cool, and there's a lot of flies. <laughs> I got also my dessert. Cafe Mescal. Like Basically espresso? coffee, probably a lot of, lots of some syrup and mescal, obviously. It's Oaxaca, right? We are at a spirulinary restaurant. It's not really a vegetarian restaurant, but they do have lots of vegetarian options. Basically in every section of the menu there is a vegetarian option. So there's veggie tacos, veggie paquitas, two different veggie burgers, also some veggie sandwiches. Probably some breakfast. Some veggie breakfast. Some veggie breakfast. Is it vegan actually? They don't have that many vegan options. Make sure not to miss this little mescaleria called El Balenquito. You can try different kind of mescals here from one local farm and also very 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 tasty tacos. The vegetarian version is like vegetables in tempura and it tastes just like fish and I mean it in the best possible way. And the prices for both tacos and drinks are more than reasonable as well. A la Burger was our favorite place to go for a dinner after sunset on La Punta. Come here whenever you're craving junk food because they have burgers and pizzas. It's not really Italian pizza but it's somehow still good. And for both the pizzas and burgers, they have vegetarian and even vegan versions. Oh, and as you can hear, there's live music all the time. Hello. So for lunch today, we went to Mercado Cipotella. So it's gonna be vegetarian. Vegetarian flavor. Flavor vegetariana. Yeah, and we also ordered aqua fresca. And it's really good, quite big. But more expensive than yeah. we are used to. Yeah, in general you hear it's a bit more expensive. It's for the view. Yeah, this is <laughs> I think it's just what's made for. In the end we paid 200 pesos. It was 80 for the Laura and 20 for the Aqua Fresca. So it was actually pretty cheap. Yeah, I have no idea what was the menu about. Yeah, probably menu from different restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it was really good. good, so... That's and, pretty, pretty good. And cheap in the end. <laughs> so. 
The main market, Mercado Benito Juarez, is in the town and you can get there by Colectivo for 8 pesos from Cicatela or anywhere else in Puerto Escondido. It's a bit cheaper and the offer is also more diverse. There is a bunch of restaurants where you can grab breakfast or lunch, even as a vegetarian. When it comes to cooking, buying your groceries in Puerto Escondido is a zero problem. There is a big store called Chedraui similar to Walmart, of course there are the markets and even some organic stores. You can find more extensive information about this topic in the blog post. Now that's really it from Puerto Escondido and see you in the next destination. Ciao!